Alright, back to the fiesta. We need to head over to that little village I could have gone to earlier, but chose not to. We need to progress the story, and now that we know we're going to be stuck as freelancers for a while, stock up on equipment. And also send the pirates to raid the bar. Because why not? Alright, so first things first, let's go raid the tutorial area. Several free items, we may as well take them. Sure, take an ether, take a hundred gill. Hey, monster attack. Oh, dealt with that. Leather shoes. Very nice. Let's throw those on Bart's. I said Bart's. Hey, let me out. Maybe there's some more hidden items up here. Or right here, rather. Grab us a tent. Some more potion. And if we go up into the woods here. An extra phoenix down. Again, those are like a thousand gil each. So those are very, very valuable at the moment. Apparently this is Zox's house. The guy we need to see about getting through the canal ahead. But I'm not through stealing stuff around his house. So we have another set of leather shoes. Alright, I believe that's all the pillaging. There's the magic shop, which is useless to us at the moment. Weapon shop, however, I believe everybody could use some broadswords. Okay. Like how far shows up to get swords, but won't stay in the party long enough for us to equip them to him. At least it lets us see what his equipment is. And we'll grab some armor while we're here. Okay, we need two leather caps. Everybody has leather armor. It says everybody... It says this is equal. The leather cap or leather shields not actually do anything. I will take one to find out. And that's actually okay because Faris is not... Or Faris already has one. Okay, so let me unequip the shield. Does this give me any kind of bonus at all? Okay, it gives me 10% evasion. So they are worth having. Alright, I'm back here. The, don't ignore me. Are you just waiting outside for us? Give me two more of these. Get out of here. Alright, Lena, optimize. Optimize. Good. I believe we want to swing by the item shop, which is over at the inn. And we'll take all of the potions. Since that's my only means of healing right now. Grab us a quick rest. And let's stop by the pub. There's a couple things to do here. First, we must receive the ultimate lap dance. Behold us three become one. Some sort of stripper Voltron. And even more interestingly, they're so into the party, they don't even need Bart's. See, Bart's is gone. They're still going. Anyway... 
a real reason for doing this was so we could play the piano. If you remember from last year's run, if we play all eight pianos in the world, we unlock something good for the Bard class. Still a very real chance we could get Bard. Still got three jobs to unlock. So we may as well just do it since we pass seven of the eight in normal gameplay. I just like to trigger this scene. It's completely optional, but it's funny. As we get to see Bart have some questionable feelings towards Faris. And of course, Gallif has to go see for himself. Even he cannot fight off Faris's manliness. Such a... such an awkward scene. Alright, and with that we are pretty much done in town. Let's head over to the canal. And of course Far is coming with us. Oh, right. I'm an idiot. I forgot the whole reason we came here was to go see Zok so we could actually get into the canal. Whoops. Hello, Zok. So you should let us into the canal. You lost... How do you lose something that important? Also, it's a key to a canal. How often do you use that? It should just be like hanging somewhere. Oh well, we get a free room for the night. It would also be great if I hadn't already paid for the inn. There, Bart's going for a little midnight stroll. Having some flashbacks to his uh, younger days. In his parents' huge one-room house. With one bed. Really living the life. Also, I believe young Bart uses the only child sprite in the game. So every other child we see will look just like that. At least for the male children. Alright, Zok, what are you doing? That's just creepy. Standing there staring at her. What's wrong with you? So you had the key the entire time. All right, well, key acquired. We can now progress. Let's get out of here. Come along, forest. All right, and this is the part where forest dismisses the crew. Because, you know, a pirate ship definitely doesn't need a crew. It'll be just fine with the four of us, three of which know nothing about sailing. This will go swimmingly. Goodbye, pirates. You were useful for that one autopilot thing that one time. All right. Let's equip Faris with her stuff. Let's equip Faris with his stuff. And onto the ship.
And now everyone's going to discuss the crystals. For the first time, really. With the destruction of the wind crystal, there's no wind. So imagine what could happen if we lost the water, earth, and fire crystals. It's kind of a big deal. It would very much create an unlivable world. Let's go. Onward to protect the other crystals. Alright, Calif, don't fall. We kind of need you. Alright, onward to the canal. I always like this little scene here. Where Bart is just like, yeah, I'm gonna open this and I'm not going to tell you how I got the key. You're just gonna have to accept that. And then they actually do accept it. As weird as that is. Either way, onward to glory. Got a couple of Octo Krakens here. And now we don't. Oh, a couple more. Who will receive similar fates? Never even got to attack. Oh, what could happen in this narrow path that we have no choice but to go through? Oh no, a giant whirlpool. The sealed monster has escaped. The ship is trapped and probably doomed. Oh no, Sildra. And the sealed monster is Carl. Okay, we should probably heal Faris. He took a pretty good hit right off the bat. Yep, and we should heal Faris again. Because reasons. Uh, he's really focusing those attacks on Faris. Live, Faris. Live. Damn it, Carl. Alright, good. Good block. Take him down. Focus those attacks. Up here comes the tail screw again. Really hurt Lena that time. Alright. Pushed my luck a little much there. Heal Lena. Pretty big hit on Bart's, but he's fine. Keep that damage flowing. Nicely done. And a free tent. Never have enough tents. Oh no, Sildra. Wait, but Sildra's what was propelling the ship. What will the ship do now? Is 
Sildra, no. And without Sildra, we're pretty much just left adrift. Oh yeah, that's exactly what's happening. The ship is just drifting wherever the sea decides to take it. Like literal drift, I have no control right there. Hey, everybody wake up. We found a thing. Oh, good. It's a ship graveyard. That bodes well. That bodes very well. Oh, hello, skeletons. Getting all fancy with your back attacks, huh? Also notice everyone was healed after the fight with Carl. I'll just run from this. I don't want to fight the back attack. Run attack against one skeleton? Bring it on. I'll even waste a potion while I'm at it. Okay, thankfully I killed the skeleton and I will not waste the potion. Hey, there we go. There's a nice little secret. That leads us to a flail. Which may or may not be better than what I have. The flail is in fact slightly stronger than the broadsword. I'm going to give it to Lena because she does the least damage. I'm going to give her a slightly stronger weapon to try to balance it out. Down goes the skeleton. Now let's continue navigating the ship graveyard. Now we've got three skeletons now. Alright, well the flail has an interesting animation. I'll give it that. Is this anything? No. Hello? Another tent. Nice. You never have enough tents. Well, that's actually a lie because you really don't use that many of them. Usually right before boss fights. So generally one or two per dungeon is enough. Yep, looks like we're going to have to go through the water. Which somehow the party is capable of walking underwater. I don't understand it, but I'm not going to question it either. Let's examine this chest for, you know, almost a thousand gil. Very nice find. Good stuff. And just continue punching our way through these skeletons. away. Hey, level up for everybody. Level ups all around. Let's grab this chest. Another good phoenix down.
Eh, it's one skeleton. It's not a big deal. Really? There's a hole there. Oh, not down the stairs again. Stairs are my natural enemy, it would seem. Here we go. Everybody get changed, dry off, do what you gotta do. Lena's actually gonna manage to go off on her own to change and not get peeked at by the guys. She goes against every RPG scenario I've ever seen. Yeah, Forrest, what's wrong? You gotta get changed, dry off. Oh snap, what have we discovered? Forrest is a girl. Holy crap. Good, now I can stop forcing myself to call her a him. That's very awkward for the first part of the game. Even though I'm pretty sure I've let it slip. Oh well. I'm pretty sure people figured that out. Alright, everybody rest up. Good work, Gallif. You nailed it. Come on, everybody up. Everybody gather up. We got some stuff to take care of. Hey, save point. We should probably save for the first time. Tends to be helpful. Onward. Some more adventure. Oh, a lot of things to kill here. Oh wow, another elixir. Being fairly generous with those around here. all the experience we can and some stuck as freelancers for a while level ups are the strongest thing we can get level ups and just raw equipment hello world map a little more treasure antidote antidote phoenix down there's a surprising number of Phoenix Downs just available. I think these guys are fairly durable. I actually take three hits. And there's some level ups. Across here. Open this chest that for some reason raises this ship. I don't know what the deal is with that, but that's how it works. Hey, a dagger. That'd be great if I had a thief or something. All right, heal everybody up. Get everybody to full. That last one was probably a waste, but whatever. Hello, boss fight. Oh, 
Oh, hello, Bart's mom. Hey, King Tycoon again. Guy just can't get enough of us. Lars, what are you doing? Let Lena have her moment. My hello, mysterious little girl. <laughs> Gallif does not remember. No, their souls are being stolen. Wait, it's a ship graveyard that steals the souls of the people it traps? We must be about to fight a siren. What else would lead sailors to their doom? Thankfully, though, Kehalif's amnesia makes him immune to the effects. You are about to witness the true power of Galif. Are you guys ready? Because here it comes. Behold as Galif slaps the souls back into their bodies. And it actually worked. Alright, gang's back together. Let's do this. Now opening with a haste. All right, everybody hit her. Best possible solution. I think that flail has some amount of randomness to its damage. Because it hit really hard just now. All right, that hurt a little bit. That also hurt a little. Pile up that damage. Okay, she switched to undead. Alright, so now we throw potions at her. Because in true Final Fantasy fashion, the undead is damaged by healing. And I should also throw one to Bart's because he's at very low HP. And Lena died instantly. And no, the Phoenix Down trick does not work on this boss. Also, in undead form, her physical defense is really high. So physical attacks are not the best option. And Bart's is dead. Get Bart's back up. We did quite a bit of damage to her before she changed, so hopefully she'll die soon. She shouldn't have that much HP. Alright, good. She switched back just as I ran out of potions. Go back to attacking. Come on, just die. There we go, perfect. We got a bronze armor. Beautiful. All right, so down with the siren. Let's head out here and throw down a tent. And I believe that'll wrap us up for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to donate to the Child's Play charity, link in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time for more Fiesta.